let's talk about Avicii. Nice. How involved were you in his camp? Um, I just made one music video for his team, and that was it. And it kind of like skyrocketed who I was at the time. Like which on, which song was it again? The Knights. Oh yeah. And so I think I got paid to do a um. I did. I got paid to do a, a promo for that. Did you really? Yeah. That's crazy. Amanda Cerny had come to me because she was close with their camp as well. Had you met Avicii? Uh, at that time, no. I'd just seen him in concert a bunch. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Met I, him? Yeah, I met him Actually. twice. Did his death affect you? Yeah, it was... Uh, I mean, his music not only was a big staple in my life, like I was a big fan, but to be... To have him basically changed my life with allowing me to do one of his music videos like if i didn't get that opportunity i might not be sitting here talking to you guys mm. and, yeah uh, check it out look oh uh, yeah rory kramer vision right at the beginning there that was my way to sneak my name in there i i, I remember i remember seeing you uh I, it's so hard to stop it on it but uh, i remember i remember I, I like um the slogan of rory kramer vision Thank i you. see it on a lot of stuff it's cool it's creative Thank you. but yeah man that was um 521 million views. Yeah, big video. Crazy, yeah. A friend of ours just bought his old house. Not not just, but oh, like sorry. lives, yeah, lives the there currently. Year, yeah. lives there. And, and we uh, we met up with his manager, Ash, when we were in um, Sweden. In Sweden, man, yeah. He, How long ago was that? Six, six months ago, six months probably. Ago. This, this whole thing was just incredibly sad, man. Yeah, like, it's very sad. I hate, I hate, uh, I don't even know how to like, I, I it's, it's happening so frequently now, just like young talent with so much promise just disappearing. Yeah. His story was a little different than the... Uh, than Did you the, see his documentary? The, I didn't. Uh, maybe, maybe I saw parts of it. Yeah, I might have seen parts of it. It looks heavy. Netflix. His 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 situation was different in that it was a, it was a result of long-term abuse of the body right is yeah. that is that correct yeah. like where whereas you had other people who made one fatal mistake you know yep. juice world mac whatever his his was a result of chronic pain and 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 mm. tire and exhaustion and 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 obviously heavy drinking was a was a big part of it as well um and i i why do you why do you think that why do you think that so commonly like artists in pain go hand in hand because you've been around a lot of them and I, I know a lot of artists draw their inspiration the from their pain and I think it's the pressure of having to be somebody and always have to be on and I mean I, I just think about like we were talking about Justin like this guy like you're saying he has a lot of pull but like sometimes that pull you don't want that pull you don't want <laughs> yeah. all these people coming at you you want your moment space, of yeah. yeah space and just peace I feel like Justin's done a good job of like Making that known, <laughs> he, like, he like always he, has. Like yeah, he's he always, always has. has. Yeah. Like he's 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 approachable, but people also know to give him his space. Like I'm talking about the 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 average person, not maybe like a, a believer, but yeah. uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, <laughs> man. I mean, I saw it with paparazzi; they'd just be in his space all the time. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like yeah. he was a different level of getting to work with somebody. Oh my god. Yeah.